everyone, and welcome to my very first segment of Why Are You Telling My Business? What? I thought you said it wasn't you. Okay. We're going to be talking about Portia Williams. Yes, she was at her book signing lately. And honey, Peter came in and was dragging her for filth. Only because she was caught wearing a fur jacket in New York. And somebody knew who she was. And of course, Porsche was already throwing her uh, photos out there on Instagram and Facebook. And anywhere else she could put herself out there to promote her book club. And I'm like... Where's Portia Williams' team? Did they take a break? Did they go on hiatus? Did they leave this girl to fend for herself? Where's her mama? Where is Dennis? Where is her fiance, Simon Gabadia? Doesn't anybody have a brain in that camp over there? Because you just don't go to New York wearing fur. Has she not heard about Kim Kardashian? Got flour thrown all over her jacket. Her mink jacket. Ooh, it was, you know, it was a bad look. That was way back in the day. But still, same song, same story. You just don't do it. And I'm going to tell you why I'm getting on that fat head right there. Because, as you're going to see, my scrolling of my visual videos... Somebody going to come out and stand out like a sore thumb. Now, you got this man made a fool out of her all on social media, okay? Because he couldn't keep his penis in its pants or up in her vagina and only her vagina, okay? Why, why, why do Portia mess with men that seem to don't have her best interest at heart? I'm still trying to figure it out. I've been up in her mama face. Been fighting with her mama in my head. I'm winning, of course. Because I understand what the problem is, is what the problem is with enlightening Portia about certain pivotal things. Does Portia not consult anybody on her team before she go out there and do these crazy things? Everybody know you can't wear fur. And if you wear it, you got to kind of be in clandestine with it. Because Peter is everywhere. Everywhere, globally, internationally. You're not going to do experiments on pets and get away with it. And they know about it. They're going to find you and they're going to show up and show out. From looking at previous videos that's circulating around on the YouTube streets now. They got this woman clowning. You know, Portia now trying to do her book sale. <laughs> this woman's on the side with her. She might well have a bullhorn because she loud as hell. I don't know if the mic. Somebody, you know, was off camera and they were sitting there filming her. But they had a powerful mic and that woman was going around to my. No, Portia, you should know better than this. You cannot wear for her. Ooh, they, I'm like, ooh. And Portia had a long line of people waiting to get their copy of her book and get that signature and prospect possibly a selfie and of course if all that was going down you were paying extra for that <laughs> meaning the selfie or the rights to get you know that close to a Porsche and I'm like Porsche why are you doing that for one you ain't got on not nail mask uh the people that you buy don't have on a mask when they try and take a selfie so I'm like God protect this child because she just don't have a clue we have viruses still out there you know what I'm saying? Now, this is, uh, you know what? <sighs> now, he hang, I think they hang around each other. Okay? That's Jermaine Dupree. But don't he look a lot like Dennis Incognito? I just wanted to give y'all that. Okay? Now, if I'm not understanding right, Portia and Candy was tight. Portia lives in Atlanta, Georgia. Peter's in Atlanta, Georgia as well. Peter is in New York. What part? And and, and what's I saying? Portia tries to solidify herself and running with the entertainment industry. So, could nobody give a clue, Jermaine? You could not give Portia a clue? A clue of what was going on with the Peter organization. 
Simon, he's supposed to be a philanthropist. Could he not give her a clue of what's going on? What's not going on? And what's going on? Yeah, of course, you ought to quit. You already ought, you really ought to quit and go get your other jobs back. Because you were bearable on this nation. And you were bearable on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But this mess you got going on here. Not thinking before you actually do something. And at the brunt of the backlash is going to come back to land at your front door. Girl, I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. And I don't know why my pictures are not showing up. <sighs> but Lord, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I don't understand it. Unless you live in Antarctica or Alaska. But I'm sure a PETA organization is out there somewhere too. Looking to pounce on somebody. Taking advantage of our fur, our fur animals. Or our furry friends as I like to call them. And the wolf lovers. The bear lovers. Any place the rabbit lovers. And Portia just single-handedly keeps sabotaging herself with getting in trouble with big organizations. Because Peter ain't small. Peter is not small by a long shot. And don't you think somebody going to come out with some commentary? You mean a journalist? Someone from CNN? Probably Saturday Night Live might do a skit on her behind. I'm just saying, Portia. It ain't looking good. It's still not looking good. I'm trying to figure out the team that you have that I'm sure you are paying for. Why they don't have your best interest at heart to tell you these things. But Portia was like, she didn't break character. She didn't uh, like get up and try to go tell this woman off. She was just looking and laughing, looking and smiling and still trying to pay attention to her crowd of people that came out to see her and get a copy of her book. And, of course, a selfie or a signature of her book to whomever purchased the book or whoever they wanted um, the book to say, you know, love Portia, love, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I'll be like, girl, the hits just keep on coming for you. You got the lawsuit of this house sale that didn't go through in Florida that your fiance is going through. You got your um, television show favorite good numbers when it first aired. But then after that, it started to plummet a little bit. And... I had someone, one person on my YouTube channel, they had told me about uh, DeetsTV.com, D-E-E-T-S TV.com. I think I got it right. I had wrote it down in my notes, but I am looking for them again just to clarify that website. But anyway, they, you know, my people good over here. My family member good. When I'm off my rocker or I'm saying stuff that they can't get with, they straight me out. Or if I'm really interested in something and I can't remember, they straight me out and put the stuff in the comments, okay? So I can have it for next time or just to clear my mind up. Because you know how folks see them my age. We can't think of something and it just worries us until we find it, okay? So my people were telling me that, Portia Show sure ain't doing too good. It ain't doing too good. It ain't fair and well. So y'all can go check out DeetsTV.com. I think it is. And it gives all of the Bravo shows uh, a pinpoint of what numbers they are doing out there. And I was like, child, Portia, Portia, Portia. I don't want to say it, but... If you like the entertainment business, honey, you need to get on back over there with the housewives and tear them down. Because I'm sure ain't no holes, no, ain't no, no holes are going to be barred over there if you go back. They can't going to be tearing you up. And anybody else that want to get on that bandwagon about dragging you for messing with a married man. Okay? And all this good stuff. And, and playing two men at the same time, meaning Dennis and your fiance Simon. But we know. Those who know, we know you ain't going to get married to Simon, girl. We praying you don't anyway. 
if anything is true from what the streets are saying and what we're vi uh, visually seeing on ourselves, just like we ain't want Kenya to be married. Now, y'all know how I feel about that. If you don't know, please go and check out my videos that I've done on Mark and Kenya. When they were allegedly supposed to have been married and this, that, and the third. But, um, I mean, technically, Portia don't showed us too much and Dennis don't showed us too much. You know Dennis can't stay out of social media. He damn sure can't stay out of them streets and messing with them women. He's just an eligible bachelor with fringe benefits, I guess you should call him. Because, you know, everybody really wants the best for Portia. And we want her to be with somebody that's going to cherish her like she cherished them. But, you know... Right now, to me, and only to me, only in my opinion, Miss Portia got a Jezebel spirit attached to her. So, until she rectifies that situation, she's going to always have the end of the stick. Because it seems like she always wants to go after mar married men or troubled men in their marriages. Because from what I hear, and I ain't saying it's true, it's all allegedly. But, I, you know, I have my favorite people that I go and watch their videos. And I definitely shout them out on my channel. And a couple of them were kind of... Repeating the same thing that Portia goes out to marry me uh, intentionally. And in her mind, she may not think it's intentionally, but the people that are around her should be calling her out for it. The ones that so-called love her, cherish her, like her mom, like her step, you know, stepsister, and any other good friends that Portia deemed as a good friend. They need to definitely be pulling her back. And put you know putting their hands on her forehead, saying you know knocking sense into it, like this is not what we're gonna do. Cause what you did is gonna circle back around full karma and bite you in the ass one day. Okay, if you do succeed in doing this, uh, not so good thing. Cause they said Cordell Stewart, her husband that she actually married, he was engaged or he was feeling somebody else at the time, and somehow Portia swooped in and got him. Okay, now we can see the, you know, the ramifications of what can happen and the karma that can shoot you in the foot when you do under, uh, deceptive things such as what they're claiming she did. I think the girl name was Brandy at the time that uh, Cordell was messing with. But moving on from there, um, I'm not going to say Dennis was with someone or attached to someone because habit that Tisa tells says okay he's a woman's man and everybody adores him they say nothing about dennis that is like bad or degrading because these women know what they're trying to do with dennis and they know how dennis roll so it's almost like you get what you got because you knew the story from the beginning he's not a one woman's man now i don't know what portia thought she could change in that fact because I always tell people, don't try to change people, change yourself. And if that person don't fit your mold or what you want out of life and what you want around you, then pick yourself up and move on. It's just that simple. You can't be attached to something that's, you know, is detrimental to you. In your mind, you may feel like you can't get nobody else or this is the best that you deserve. Then you need to go seek therapy as well as have a good relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not trying to push religion on you or anything of that nature. But I'm saying if you are in a situation that doesn't benefit you. And I'm not talking about being a gold digger or nothing like that. But if you're in a relationship and it's not each other looking out for one another. On whatever platform in a good and gracious way. You need to step on you need to step on out of there. Get yourself on out of there. Run. Okay? Be a track star. Win a gold medal. But get yourself out of that situation, period and point blank. Don't have yourself sitting up in a therapy office taking a whole bunch of pills and don't even know how you got there. And you still crying and wanting that person that did you in for the negative. We better than that, women. We are better than that. And if any men are looking at my videos and listening to my commentary, same thing. If you're in a relationship, the woman not doing you right, or the man ain't doing you right, get the hell on. You deserve better. You are better than that situation. But that's all I got to say. I, Portia deserves a better team watching out for her. And she deserves better family members to tell her, look, girl. You could go on there and add ratchet to a certain extent. You know, because we all ratchet. 
to a certain degree. Now you cut me off when I'm riding down that highway or I'm on that street. You cut me off. You're going to go slow. Man, I'm going to be too fit to be tired. I'm going to call you everything but a child of God. Then I'm going to try to speed up to see who you are so you can see my pain on my face. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's road rage all day long. Okay, textbook. But sometimes it's ill what it is. You know what I'm saying? So we lose our mind. Then we have to get, get adjusted and this things, things to that nature. But I'm glad I have good people around me when they know. If I'm at, acting out of pocket or I seem to be a little bit too abrasive or something like that, they check me. You know what I'm saying? They don't let me go make a fool like myself. But you know, they be down like four flat tires when I'm on somebody's ass. True and true that. You know what I'm saying? I got my riders. All right. But then, um, you know, you got to have good people around you when you make mistakes or they don't want you to make mistakes and they will intervene and say i ah, don't do this i've been down that road i'm tell you what happened and if you still decide to go down that road remember how was the one that said don't do it that's a friend that's a, a good family member uh or what do you call it co-worker or whatever that had took the time to say you know i like this person i don't want them to make the same mistake i did let me lend uh, a better understanding to them to let them know not to do this or not be a part of this or be a part of it but still have integrity morals and uh logic when you're stepping in that type of uh form portions in which is to be a reality uh star or <laughs> i don't know what you call it these days celebrity star whatever you know what i'm saying because when you act acting ratchet you ratchet period Okay, this is how you're going to get your money because you want to be ratchet. Because nobody's holding a gun to your head saying, go on TV and act a damn fool. You know what I'm saying? Constantly. Like, you, this is all you do every day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You just act ratchet. When we know that's not true. But in order to keep the limelight that you're in, you have to do these things. Just like Portia thought, going to R. Kelly because she wanted to be a little singer. I mean, she probably should have been a background singer, not in, even in the business at all. But she felt that she needed to do some strange things for some changes or some, or some entertainment opportunities. Which, in her mind, it was flawed thinking. It was flawed thinking because she was listening to the wrong people. Okay? This ain't no casting couch. Have some integrities. Have some morals about yourself. Stop selling your body. Stop selling your looks for it to be exchanged for opportunity. No. Go to school. Get a college or a degree. Be an entrepreneur. Get in there and do the hard work. And build. Build your own empire. Or your own stable, financially uh, grounded business. Be that person you want to advocate uh, better things to do with your life if you're on that lower class of living. Be that example. You don't have to be up there in Hollywood doing hella strange things for some change and some notoriety and some people to honor you and adore you and idolize you you don't want that you don't want that because then you put yourself in a fishbowl you ain't educating yourself you letting other people tell you what to do where to go who to talk to who to be around who to marry uh it just is too much when it's supposed to be your choice you're supposed to have free will in whatever you do and you can make those choices yourself child but I don't know. Like I said, I knew about Peter in elementary school. Okay. I knew about Peter in elementary school. And if I liked it, you know, fur or whatever, uh, fur lookalikes, I'd be like, nah, this ain't the real thing. They made this from some uh, some kind of material. But it feel nice. Because I know I had me a little uh, mink jacket. But it wasn't mink. Like I said, it was fox, fox faux mink. Uh, a fake mink, however you want to call it these days. But it felt so good. And it kept the uh, the wind out of my, you know, private parts. You know what I'm saying? It had the little uh, hoodie to it. Oh, it was so pretty. I loved it. But anyway, that's another story for another day. But that's all I had in this video, y'all. Child, push up there. I'm trying to have her book signing and all this stuff and taking pictures with mink. And uh, all that good stuff in New York. Hell, what her name? Tamara Hall. She should have told her when she saw that monstrosity of a nice looking fur come up in her studio. She should have said, baby, do you know anything about Peter? Don't wear that. 
and maybe somebody did get to her and told her not to wear it but somebody had already spotted her so they're like okay you're gonna come up here and disrespect the animal population i'm gonna come up in your thing and disrespect you okay and that's exactly what they did i don't have the footage but i'm sure it'll surface in a couple of more days you'll probably see some pictures of some woman you know up in the bookstore kind of make you seem like it was barnes and nobles but i know it wasn't barnes and nobles because barnes and nobles is really nice especially in atlanta uh on carolina street i don't know if they have a barnes and nobles in um Buckhead or not don't know sometimes i go out to Buckhead to eat at nice restaurants um or um going to lennox mall but like i said i only went um a couple of times and I had bought me a, a bag and a, a key fog and a, um, what did I think? Well, a coin change purse at the Louis Vuitton store. I ain't been back since because I said, I ain't going to, that's too much money. And, you know, they got Michael Kors down there. They got Coach. But since the um, virus been here uh, in Georgia and everywhere else, you haven't had like a stand in a line. Sometimes that line can be putting you all the way outside the door when you have to be on the outside trying to go in. I'm like, uh, that I love them. And, you know, I like, you know, what they give me for us feeling like I'm a celebrity myself. But, no. Nah, one time shopping. And if they ever need to be repaired or whatever, I sure go and, you know, say, like, do y'all have a, um, an upgrade to this? Well, you know, I might spend $100 to get something else or whatever. But, no. Nah, if it's a little bit more than that, I like, no, nah, just repair it. But I actually have had it, um, I think 2013. And it's still giving what it got. But I don't really care it that much. Um, but I have been carrying it lately. But I'm not going to say it's a good quality bag. Because it's really vinyl. I really got messed up in my head. That I thought I needed this purse. To validate myself. But you know it is what it is. It's a woman's prerogative. We do some strange things. We spend an absorbent amount of money. on some stuff that we really. When we sit back and think about it. Like why I was so stupid. Why I was trying to keep up with the Joneses. No, it ain't got Louis Vuitton money. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I hadn't hit a milestone and I was celebrating, but I haven't went back since. But it just is what it is. I just came to talk to y'all about this catastrophe to have Dennis in your life. And I, I really, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I thought I had Dennis up in there. But then when I thought about it and I had put it in my video, I said, God damn, that's, Dan that's uh, Jermaine Dupree. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of point am I trying to make? <laughs> All right. But since Portia, she tries to float into the entertainment business, I thought somebody would throw her a clue. But, child, I thought that was, uh, I thought because it had vegan in there, like a restaurant and stuff. So I was like, oh, Lord, Dennis made his girlfriend look stupid. He didn't tell her about Peter, but I'm sure if Dennis know about Peter as well. Peter um, as well. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. I like it, love it, got it, more. Stay tuned for more videos and check back. And remember to watch from the beginning to the end. Because I do drop a lot of knowledge. I drop a lot of wisdom. These are nuggets you can take with you and live by. You understand what I'm saying? Everything and all was just kikis and laughs over here. I might tell a story. Okay? They give you much information that you can live throughout your lifetime. But that's all I got, people. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.